Sonic X Shadow Generations has officially launched early for deluxe edition buyers, and I couldn't be more excited. I love Sonic Generations, and from what I played at Gamescom, the game takes what was already built and adds on some fantastic new content revolving around Shadow. While the original game can run on the Steam Deck, it does have some issues like the audio and some drops. So I had a lot of hope for the new version of the game would not suffer the same issues. And so far, it's performing. So in this video, I'm going to check out Sonic X Shadow Generations on the Steam Deck and make sure it's running better than the original. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as our next video goes live. This game was also recorded on the Steam Deck directly, so you may have slightly better performance and less battery drain than what you're going to be seeing in this video. Taking a first look at the Sonic Generation side, it's actually performing very well. Both 2D and 3D Sonic levels are staying at a solid 60 frames per second with under mostly 11 watt battery drain. There is definitely more testing to do to make sure all levels and bosses stick to this, but I feel very confident after playing both Green Hill and Chemical Plant stages with both 2D and 3D Sonic both at the highest quality settings. At first, the game stuck under 11 watt battery drain without any changes, but after playing for 30 minutes or so, battery drain kicked up to around 15.5 to 16 watts. Still solid 60 frames per second, but higher battery drain. It seems like you can set the TDP limit to six to keep it down and get 60 frames per second, but more testing is needed, especially on the shadow side. Speaking of the shadow side, it is a bit harder to run. Under the same quality settings, I did get drops to the 40s, which does make some sense since the shadow levels are newly made. This does mean we have to make some adjustments to hit 60 frames per second, which actually seems possible. I lowered shadows and turned off ambient occlusion and local reflections, which seems to make it sick to 60 frames per second. It is possible that later levels might need some more changes like lowering rendering scale to 75%, but I didn't need to do it for the first level. I can also confirm that changing settings for Shadow Generations doesn't affect Sonic Generations, so you can still play at the highest for Sonic and lower settings for Shadow. You could also set the frame rate limit to 40 frames per second and play at the highest quality for Shadow, but the game feels so much better at 60 and I highly recommend keeping it that way. Cutscenes for Shadow and Sonic will both be at 30 frames per second though. I can also happily say that there are no audio issues and everything seems to work right out of the box. The Sonic Generation side does have a frame rate limit lock to 60 and can't go higher like to 90 on OLED. So it's best to just change your frame rate and refresh rate to 60 for the smoothest play. Overall, I am really happy with the performance and elated to see the Shadows levels are running as well as they are. I do wish we didn't have to change settings, but I'm happy that changing them on Shadow levels doesn't affect Sonics. So far, this is a fantastic game to play on the Steam Deck and I am happy to recommend it based on what I've experienced so far. Sonic X Shadow Generations can be purchased on Steam for $49.99 or you can get the Deluxe Edition for $59.99 which will allow you to play the game right now instead of waiting a couple more days. You can also buy it on Fanatical for a little bit less. You can get the Standard Edition for $43.49 or the Deluxe Edition for $52.19 and you can save some money. The links to this will be in the description and they are affiliate links so if you do decide to purchase through them, thank you for supporting us. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified as soon as our next video goes live. And a big thank you to our patrons. You guys are awesome. See you next time.